Welcome to Rehash. All the internet, we're all news, is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Hey guys, I'm Flabby Thunder, and you clicked on Rehash. Let's go check it out. Thank you so much to Flabby Thunder. Flabby Thunder? Yeah, Flabby Thunder. Thank you so much to Flabby Thunder who provided our intro. If you'd like to do the same and be awesome, link in the description to where you can provide an intro in exchange for a meaningful spotlight. And we'll talk about your channel at the end of any of our episodes. Of course. So we got a couple of newsy tap whatevers that we want to discuss with you, the Freedom Family, today. Um, and so, yeah, let's get into that. All right, you first. Today, I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family, and that's you guys out there in viewing land. I wanted to talk to you about a man who got struck by lightning. Hey. But that's not the story. Okay. A man who got struck by lightning, who has a friend who got struck by lightning, well, and they both bought lottery tickets and won. Hey, hey, luck goes everywhere. And I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family about hashtag YouTube problems. Hashtag YouTube problems. Yep. I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family about the Backstreet Boys teaming up with NSYNC to make a zombie horror survival time movie thing. Yeah, I want to watch that now. So my question to you is, yep. About this lottery lightning thing, if yeah. I had you guess where this happened, given the recent stories that we've covered, where would you say that this took place? Florida. Not Florida. Okay. Actually, this is in the most unassuming place okay. ever. Canada. It is close enough. I mean... Um, so, yes. Uh, a Manitoba man. Yeah. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Manitoba man um, was struck by lightning. And then um, his... his also, the person going in and buying tickets with him was also struck by lightning. Not at the same time. But still, the odds of being struck by lightning and they're both friends is, like, impossible. Well, yes. Okay. And then those two friends buying a lottery ticket and winning together are even more impossible. Yeah. Now, to add to the statistical um, improbability, Anomaly, yeah. the man purchased the ticket at a station that he owns. Now, some people out there might go, that's not fair! But keep in mind that he's not the one picking the the you know lottery right. ticket yeah. ball things, so that's not a that's not a factor. But a, a mathematician was asked about this, <laughs> yeah. and they said that the the odds are in the one in one trillion that something yeah. like this would happen. Let alone living the, winning the lottery and being struck by lightning. And yeah, I can never picture that thing. The main guy has, uh, and I believe his name is uh, McCarthy, Peter McCarthy. actually. That's a cool name. Um, has decided he's going to take his wife on a second honeymoon. And the other winner, I believe, is going to Cancun or something. <laughs> My question to you, the Freedom Family, is if you won the lottery, hopefully you haven't been struck by lightning, but That's if you win the lottery, what would you spend the money on? Uh, and don't tell me world peace. Don't tell me, you know, I'm going to buy kittens for everybody. Just, you know, what would you spend it on if it had to be spent on you? Ah, uh, why can't you say with us? You spend it with me. Or, I mean, if you... Take us out maybe. to a dinner and the one you All right, and then you want to talk about? Yeah, I want to talk to the Freedom Family and you about hashtag YouTube problems. So somebody had posted a, you know, a, a Reddit a thread. I'm not sure what it's actually called officially, but... He says, why is it that a fully buffered YouTube video will buffer again from where you click on the progress bar when you skip a few uh, seconds ahead? It's actually a really good question. Yeah, see now you already know the answer to this. But since 2013, YouTube doesn't preload the entire video anymore thanks to a feature called Dash Playback, or Dynamic Adaptive Streaming over HTTP. I don't know what that that's means a, at all. That's a, that's a lot of, that's a big mouthful. It, it, it is a mouthful. <laughs> okay, so... Basically, when YouTube decided right. that they wanted to start focusing more on watch time, they needed a way to to measure that a little bit more effectively. Mm -hmm. They also needed to uh, make it so that um, people on lesser connections could, you know, could stream video. Unfortunately, for a lot of people, um, it, Dash Playback, as they call it, has pretty much killed their ability to watch YouTube. There is an ability to actually disable this, there but... Is. You're not able to watch it like any higher than 30 frames a second at 720p. Well, it used to be yeah. back in the day, like when you were on a really bad connection, you could pause the video at the at the beginning, go to another tab, go make a sandwich, come back, and then just watch your video. Um, unfortunately, you can't do that anymore unless you right. disable this. So our question to you, the Freedom Family, is uh, should this be a feature that we add to Heartbeat? Of course, we can't guarantee that it would be, but I'm wondering if we should take that to the developers, because I think for some people that would be a, yeah. a good option to have. I'm rooting for it. I, you know, I don't really watch a lot of videos above 30 frames or 720p anyway, so I mean... Except for Rehash, way... which is always uploaded in 60 frames per second. Yeah, you guys should switch the quality right now and watch us in pre-HD as we do weird stuff in front of the camera. 
And then to wrap up the stories, you had another newsy tap whatever. I do have another newsy tap whatever. So some of you who are maybe my age, maybe a little bit younger, maybe a little bit older, might know who the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC are. Hopefully all of you do. But if you don't, um, there are two different boy bands who existed in the late 90s, early 2000s. Yep. And, oh boy. So Nick Carter um, is working on a script for a zombie western type movie. And he is enlisting um, a couple of his own um, <laughs> his own guys from uh, from his boy band and a couple others. Uh, now we don't have uh, any confirmation yet on whether uh, we'll see um, Mr. I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. However, you never know. So um, the like film is actually going to be um, done by the same company that did movies such as Sharknado and <laughs> the Transmorphers. All right, this is so, amazing. This is either going to be awesome and low budget, or horrible and low budget, or maybe so horrible it's awesome. Yes, like Sharknado. I love Sharknado. It's really good. So um, this is—I don't know. Like, there's definitely something about this that really wants to watch as these guys that I grew up with hating. And I'll be honest. Um, maybe, maybe they just turn into zombies. I'm good with that. <laughs> like Joey Fatone, you're you're you're, you're dead, man. Oh. Yeah. All right. Um, so that's pretty much the story. If you'd like to read more, link in the description where you can read more about this if you're interested. And then now that we've wrapped up our stories, um, we get to do that one thing with the comment type thing. It's, uh, let's go. Comment number one comes from Stu the RPGer. Who says, and I quote, Hashtag rehash, best thing about Mondays. Oh, well, That's thank cute. you. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, that was like two days ago. Hey, but Three? It's, it's still a, a pretty inspirational comment. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. And you wanted to say. Yeah, the comment, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Dilo Flow TV. I, I can't say his name. Hopefully, I said it right. He says, Anthony, you look like Zach Galifianakis from The Hangover a little bit. Or I might be messed up right now. Hello, I'm not hating on you. I just thought that was funny, bro. I'm definitely is it possible I'm to shaving like, the beard now. Is it possible to get like Zach Galifianakis over my face and then like you just look match him? No. Comment number three comes from Polly Doge, who says, Anthony, why you gotta break everything? Why, why you gotta question me, bro? Yeah, you know why? If I wanna break stuff, I'll break stuff. Like this. Oh my god, he's dead! And now we talk about the partner, Flabby Thunder! Hey! Flabby Thunder, first off, I kinda like your name. It's interesting, it's unique, it's... I don't know. Yeah. Um, as far as your channel goes, uh, I am noticing a lack of custom thumbnails. It seems like you're kind of using the like one out of three that YouTube gives um, mm -hmm. or, or provides. I would suggest uh, it, not doing that. Now, some of your thumbnails, I, I am noticing that you do have custom thumbnails. Um, I would suggest never releasing a video without a custom thumbnail. That's my personal recommendation because you're giving up a lot of marketing potential. Now. You might be saying, well, that's hard. You might be saying, you know, but I really like that one action moment in my video. Um, actually, uh, one of our, our business partners, so to speak, um, who is um, TubeBuddy, actually allows you to create thumbnails within Google Chrome. So you can very easily place text or choose a specific moment within your video that is going to help get you noticed, yep. who's going to help you drive clicks. I suggest using that if it's just a matter of time, if it's a matter of software. Uh, I suggest doing that because, for instance, I'm looking at your Life is Strange thumbnail from, uh, what, like four weeks ago or so? Mm -hmm. um, decent thumbnail. I really like what you did with it. I think that possibly the text on the woman's, or the woman's um, forehead, maybe you could do without that. But yeah, I'm also not particularly a fan of the way that you're titling these videos. That's just me personally. Yeah, I mean, it, it, this like with the titles. That's actually what I was gonna go into. I mean, as a YouTube content creator, you gotta take into consideration that most of what we're already doing has either been done or is currently being done at the moment. So you always have to find relevant titles and tags and even descriptions to make your video rank. Now, I'm not saying be irrelevant or misleading or spammy, but you know, rather than putting you know the game the game of the title at the end, put it in the very beginning and then put like in like. Mm. 
I, I think for SEO, it's it's a really good thing because it you know, c- it can be. I would say it's actually more important to include it in your description and your tags, um, whereas your title should really be more for either something that's going to be attention grabbing or something like a, a an exciting moment. Yeah, I mean, well, it looks like he's doing a Let's Play. So, I mean, I would do, like, Life is Strange, episode, or Season 1, Episode 1, and then, like, a, a really drastic moment that happened. I mean, yeah. I think for SEO, it, I it does well. I think that there's there's definitely an argument to be made on both sides of that. Um, I personally feel like the thumbnail will communicate that. Yeah. Um, so, you could actually get away with not having Life is Strange in the title. Well, and I mean, it's uh, me personally. I mean, I guess it, there's two sides to the story. But then aside from that, I would really work on your, your logo and your banner. I don't really think that your logo is... They definitely original. don't mesh. Yeah, not at all. I mean, it, it, originality aside, the two just don't look like they're a part of the same um, the same artwork. Right. Um, Maybe if, like, the banner matched the logo, then you'd get away with it. But, you know... Yeah. Um... Other than that, um, I, I see that you're putting in a lot of work. I would like to see you upload a little bit more frequently. I would like to see uh, you taking a few more risks on the positive side. Yeah. Um, other than that, I, I say it's worth a subscribe to see what comes next. So, why don't so, you go check him out? Freedom Comment Family. Down. Go spam him. Yeah, yeah, spam him. Exactly. Yeah. 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 All right, that, that brings us to the end of the episode. Of course. I have no idea how long this episode is going to be, but I think Too it's going long. to be a short one. Oh, really? I don't know. Anyways, till next time, don't forget to... You know what? Why don't you do the outro? Until next time, I don't know the outro, but, uh, yeah. Uh, till next time, don't forget to like, like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to that guy. <laughs> Bye, Freedom Family. <laughs>